Atwood, and the new season of Steven Universe is here. And to celebrate the show's new episodes, we're doing a special behind-the-scenes limited series that looks at individual episodes on the Steven Universe podcast starting today with Your Mother and Mine. So I've got Michaela Dietz, who voices Amethyst, Dee Dee Magna Hall, the voice of Pearl, and Shelby Rabaro, who voices Peridot, here with me today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah. So what was it like for you guys seeing Garna interact with the off colors for the first time? Oh, it's so sweet. I loved all of the hugs. She seemed very charismatic. Yeah. More so charismatic she was. than yeah. when she first met Peridot, but mm-hmm. it was nice to see Garnet so, so happy. Yeah. Do you think it's because she felt like she was among her own? Probably. Like all these Maybe. different things. Really and... comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I think she probably saw herself in a lot of them, especially like, you know, Road Knight, because it's, she's a, like a, a fusion of a pearl and a, a ruby, right? So it's just something that you can, once you can relate to them, it just makes you feel more at ease, I guess. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. But yeah, it was really sweet. I, I loved that she, they were so nervous too. I mm-hmm. know. Like they didn't even know how to take a compliment. They didn't even know what a compliment was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, uh, cannot compute. Um, <laughs> Those poor guys, man, like, I'm just thinking about what kind of life they must have had to, to give them that that viewpoint or whatever, right? I know, but from this point on, Mackenzie, it will be different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. It will We've be different. We've made a change. She has made exactly. a positive change. They probably didn't know mm-hmm. how bad they had it. Probably. Right. Yeah. They just thought, okay, this is our existence. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. right. It's sort of like, you know, what Peridot was like, I guess. This is sort of a weird comparison, but, you know, Peridot was at first, she just, like, couldn't imagine any other way of living, you know? And so it was so confusing to her and kind of frustrating when she saw people, like, Pearl doing her thing. And she's like, no, you're not supposed to do that. You're a Pearl, you know? But yeah, right. it's, it's sort of that, that way in that she just does not understand what it's like to be different from how she is. Ignorance is bliss, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Ignorance or, or is not. bliss. <laughs> yeah. And when you find out there's more to the world, then your mind is blown. <laughs> Confuse it. <laughs> Confusion you all gotta, around. Yeah. You gotta adjust your, your worldview and whatever. Another thing I really liked about this one was the storybook sort of aesthetic that we had with Garnet telling the whole backstory of Rose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did you guys think about that? Oh, I enjoyed all of the different voices that she put on for everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and stylistically, it seemed like if a puppet show and cave drawings had a baby, it would make this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it was like animated. It's beautiful. The yeah. colors, yeah. the light and the dark contrasts. Is, it's, it's really a, it's a work of art. So shout out to our... Crew universe, storyboarders, yeah, colorists, beautiful. everything. It's really stunning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I read somewhere that it's like an anime reference to, um, I don't remember the show, but it's like a, it's a very specific reference. And I always appreciate that. I've been watching a lot of anime lately. I'm in that phase, I guess. Nice. The one that you're supposed to grow out of when you're in middle school, but I'm still there. I can't wait to grow into it. Uh, Yeah. It's okay, Mackenzie. Don't feel like you have to justify why you're into it right now and that you haven't grown out of it. It's all good. Exactly. You just live your truth. That's right. right. Like, that's what what I'm doing. I love it. Live your truth. (laughs) This is Garnet to the off colors. (laughs) uh, Yes, exactly. But yeah, I I always love seeing the, the references and stuff like that. But... It's also cool to me when, like, they're very intentional, I think, about the crew, I mean. They're very intentional about when there's a character that uh, hasn't been introduced, so Steven wouldn't know what they look like or mm. uh, what they sound like. They have someone else do the voice. Like, Estelle did the voice for Blue Diamond in that the Answer episode, because Steven doesn't know, you know, what she sounds like. So, since it's from his perspective. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. They think about it. They think they're, they're pretty smart, you know? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're so smart. It's so well thought out, everything. Right. And it's craftily yeah. executed. It's subtle, too. I mean, I think yeah. there are so many teaching moments, especially in this show, um, in this episode. And it's not like it's shoved down our throats. It's cool how we're learning by seeing Garnet, um, like, in practice, mm-hmm. approach these off colors, make them feel at home, um, welcoming them, um, not having like preconceived notions before she meets them, and 
I think it's that open mind that, you know, we, we all need to practice that. And I think we're, Mm -hmm. we're seeing her doing that. And it's not like the show is telling us this is what you should do. We're just Mm -hmm. watching it happen. Yeah. Right. It's not preachy. It's just, it's just like a demonstration. Yeah. Which is the best way to, you know, to teach. Yeah. And it's amazing to me that this could happen in a, a stunning visual, just neat little package. Um, as far as like animation Mm -hmm. goes, I don't think a lot of shows can do that. I think that's what makes our show really, really special and unique is that um, a whole, you know, all this mysticism, mystical storytelling can be compacted in such a small amount of time with with such stunning visuals. Yeah. Um, And I think that's a a really difficult thing to do, even in like other vehicles of of storytelling, like even live live action. It's really hard to do. And so I think in in an animation to watch this happen in such a short amount of time is really spectacular. So I think that's what makes our show really, really awesome and different from other shows out there. I I also love that in one moment it can be super fun and silly and then in, in the next moment it could be super duper deep yeah you know and i feel like i was yeah. introduced to the you know the the expression the feels <laughs> from just <laughs> this show i did yeah. i never oh, ever Lord. spoke those words oh this show gives me the feels i, I get it yeah it but then gives you know me the feels. it's so and true it's so it true does. you know what enhances that i think um, the music. Oh, yes. Ivy and Sura- Shirashu do such an amazing job. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So good. But yeah. it's, especially in yeah. this, it's like, wow. Yes. It's crazy. Um, It's really crazy seeing sort of the progression because like, I've seen like the, the episodes before they uh, got the music added in. And it's like, it feels like a complete story then, but they just, it just goes a further step and sort of um, gives you cues as to how you're supposed to be mm-hmm. taking what's being presented, right. especially if it's like something that could be more like vague and you're like, I don't really know what direction they're, t- what, how I'm supposed to feel about this. But the, the music can sort of give you that cue without having to say anything. Right. You guys, music it's crazy. transcends borders. <laughs> truly. <laughs> truly. Truths. Truths. Yeah. <laughs> So did you guys have any other thoughts just coming away from this episode in general? Yes. It's really cool to see Lars be so confident. Yeah. We haven't really seen Yeah, that. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. He wasn't like the focus of the episode, so I hadn't even thought about that. But you're totally right. It's like, it, it's just like the way, the fact that he's not the focus and he's just sort of doing his thing. Yeah. You know? And yes. playing well like with he, others. He's just doing his job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Just, he's, he's working <laughs> exactly. That's a. It's no small feat for Lars. Yeah. Right. Right. It's crazy. His cape and his and earring is so ones. cool. It's so, it's yes. so um, rocking. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Thank you guys so much for, for coming on and talking to me. Sure. Thank you. Thanks, Mackenzie. All of the new Steven Universe episodes are available now on the Cartoon Network app. And please subscribe to the Steven Universe podcast now at Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts. I'm Mackenzie Atwood, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>